and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I whiten my teeth at home. But before I get started, I just want you to know that this video is sponsored. Smile Brilliant very kindly sent me one of their whitening kits to try out and I have been trying them for a while and I really, really love them. So you should know that whenever I do sponsored video videos, I don't make them just to make them, if you know what I mean. I only talk about things I truly like and truly love because I want you guys to be able to trust my opinion and if I just made a video for the sponsorship's sake, you wouldn't be able to trust me, would you? <laughs> no, let's be honest. So I just wanted to put that kind of disclaimer out there. I have noticed such a difference in my teeth after using this product. My teeth aren't yellow anymore, they're actually kind of white and I really like that with this kit it doesn't, it's not meant to give you like that freakish blending white smile, it's only meant to kind of remove the yellow tint of your own teeth and kind of restoring its natural whiteness, if that makes sense. I also like that with this kind of kit you get customized trays to put on your teeth, that way the whitening gel will stay put and um, you won't kind of have that kind of strip like whenever I've tried these kind of whitening strips they kind of slide around in my mouth sometimes they break and sometimes I taste the gel and I just can't stand the taste of whitening gel I, f I think it's kind of gross so I really like that the trays kind of confines the gel, the gel to kind of only lay on your teeth you don't taste it whatsoever and the trays are also super comfortable to wear something cool about like the customized trays you get is that you make them yourself at home normally you would have to go to your dentist to get this done and it would have cost you like so much money but here you can just make it yourself at home and you, it won't be that expensive to get them done. That was kind of a super freakishly long introduction part of this video so let's just get into how I whiten my teeth and the things I had to do when I first received the kit. So the kit comes in a box like this and inside you have the kit itself. So it comes with three pots of blue paste and three pots of white paste. It comes with two blue um, impression trays and also three syringes with whitening gel and three syringes with desensitizing gel. The first thing you need to do when you receive your kit is obviously to make your impressions. And to do that you're just going to take the one pot of blue paste and one pot of white paste and kind of just mash them all together and you're kind of going to blend the two pastes until they get one nice solid blue color. It's important that there is no white streaks in there whatsoever, it needs to be a solid blue color and you need to work quickly because the paste will harden. And as soon as it hits like that solid nice blue color you're going to put it into the impression trays. After you place the clay into the impression trays, you're going to stick the trays up into your tooth. So you're just going to stick it straight up or down onto the tooth. Don't wiggle it or slide it or anything like that because then the impression won't be correctly made. Just stick them right up and hold them there with your fingers for about two and a half minutes. <laughs> until it kind of hardens. Then you're going to pop your impressions out again without wiggling them or anything like that because that will damage your impressions. So when you've taken the impression out, you're just going to let it sit somewhere and dry for about 30 minutes before you rinse it off. Don't do anything with it until 30 minutes has passed because it takes about 30 minutes for the clay to set and become hard. And after you rinse it off, you just let it air dry. Personally, I let it sit. Um, on my counter for about an entire day so I did the impressions this, at night and I let them sit and air dry until the next evening to make sure that they were really solid and rock hard. The kit also comes with this little envelope so after a day has passed and the clay has become hard you just pop the trays in there and you send it off back to America. So about a week after they had sent um, the customized trays back to me, I got a little package with this thing inside and this is just a little kind of box that contains your customized um, impressions. When you have received this little box you're good to go and you can start whitening your teeth. Before you whiten your teeth, you need to brush your teeth and floss them, but don't just brush with water, don't use any form for toothpaste or anything like that because it will kind of have an effect on the whitening and it won't be as effective as it should be. When your teeth are rinsed and you're good to go, you're going to take your impression and the whitening gel and you're going to place a really thin layer at the front of your teeth there and then you just pop it straight in like this and you my friend 
are just in the process of whitening your teeth. Now you're going to let it sit in there for about 45 minutes to 3 hours, depending on how sensitive your teeth are. I struggle with really sensitive teeth, so I could go for an hour or I could go for an hour and a half. Um, but it all depended on how my teeth felt that day. After you're done whitening it, you're not done with the process yet. No, you're going to clean out the trays using just warm water and you're going to rinse your mouth using water as well. Then you're going to apply a super thin layer of the desensitizing gel and you're going to pop the trays back in there for another 30 minutes. The thing that desensitizing gel does is that it kind of restores all of the vitamins and minerals that was lost during the whitening process. I found after using the desensitizing gel after, I didn't have that icy sensation in your mouth. You know, if you have sensitive teeth, you know what I mean, but you know that kind of like awful kind of weird feeling you get in your teeth. I didn't have that personally after using the desensitizing gel. And I always get that after using kind of whitening things for my teeth. I always get kind of like that awful sensation in my mouth. I personally saw a difference in my teeth after the first application and I really, really, really enjoy this product, guys. So I'm going to leave a link to Smile Brilliant down in the information box, just in case you want to check it out yourself and maybe try out the product. That was kind of my little video about how I whiten my teeth at home. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had fun watching. If you did, please give it a nice thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>